All right, Seth, what are we doing here? What, what, what? We're clearly walking, actually. Oh, oh, you're walking. But I'll okay. cut the crap. We're actually at Alpine Volks Fair. Uh, what, what's that? It's like the biggest freaking meat you ever seen, except for some meats. There's some that are bigger, but no, it's like, no, no. It's like an event for Volkswagens, Audis, Porsches of all kinds. We had like a Mark one through seven meet earlier today. It's still going on. Mark okay. six is all over here. Okay. We're gonna have a Porsche meet later. We're gonna have a big meet tomorrow. Barbecue. Sarah's falling. Literally everything you could think of in Helen in Georgia. All right, so essentially, Alpine Volkswagen is the largest European show, I think, in the US. Definitely on the East Coast, but essentially the entire Volkswagen Audi community descends upon Helen, yeah. like Mecca. We got people from like Texas, like Canada. Canada. Those people drive all the way from Mexico. Canada. Canada and Mexico. Yeah. Can Mexico. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, so day one, uh, there's a whole bunch of little mini small meets that are all curated towards a certain thing. Like, there's Mark 1 meet, Mark 2 meet, Mark 3 meet. Uh, today we're actually gonna be doing the, uh, today we're doing actually, we're hosting the Porsche meet, so you'll definitely yes, see sir. a lot of that. Yes, sir. And naturally, we brought a lot of Porsches, but you'll see a little yeah. bit, you'll see that later, but right now we're walking, we're trying to find some food, because we are starving. And, and there's we'll, a lot of good food in Helen. And a lot of dope cars, so we'll definitely show you what's going on. What's up, Jeff? Yay! That's right. You're gonna have a way better video than just a GoPro this time. He brought a real camera. Ooh. He actually doing this. Yeah. He actually knows what he's doing. Yeah, I, I, we don't know what we're doing. Anyway, we'll see what's going around. Alright guys, we're live from the Porsche meet. I'm joined here by Kit. What's up everyone? Out here at Alpine Volks Fair um, at the official Porsche meet hosted by Eurofed of course. Um, got, got, a few. A couple, got a couple cars out here, a lot of uh, a lot of unique builds, a lot of stuff that I've seen on Instagram. I think a lot of uh, builds we've been kind of eyeing over the past two years. Since and they actually look good in person, that's a yeah. big thing on Instagram. We, you Cut know who out. you are. Cut that out. <laughs> But yeah, let's let's start. Uh, let's let's just take a lap in this lot real quick. It, the, the meet just started. Um, we got a couple guys that have already pulled up here. Actually, yeah, we have uh, Sparky's 968, which looks makes you want a 968. Oof. Very good. I like how he kept the uh, the like the phone dial esque uh, style wheel with the rotor forms. Almost OEM plus. Like, yeah. Just looks way more baller. The interior looks good too. Yeah, yeah, that's that's money. I like it. I, I do it. I do that. Yeah. Looks like a work in progress, but it's got some good bones. It's got a cage in it. Ooh, look at the wood grain seat. Uh, wood grain? Wheel. Yeah. Eats and everything. Ooh. See, I uh, like that. It's a nardy. Oh, sick nardy, dude. It's got a nardy. But yeah, that's that. There's something about Porsches. They're just what? Kit, can you help explain what it is about Porsches? There's 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 a certain epitome and like of you know car enthusiasts that you know you want to hit one day or like want to be a part of, and I think that's just at the highest level. Like once you once you own one, everything you own, every car brand that you own after that just isn't really the same. It's not enough. Unless it's a Mark IV, then like oh my god, unless it's a Mark IV. Until but it breaks on the way up your foot. This dot over here looks really good. Uh, ooh. Look at that. That's a dot two, right? Yeah. Yeah. No, it's um, not. It's not I, it's I thought it was a 992 at first, but it's a dot two. No, it's a, it's a dot one, not a dot, dot, 991 dot two. Dot one. 991 dot one. 991 dot one. 991 .1. It's okay. Porsche okay, made right. it really easy to remember. <laughs> but no, this thing is super sick. The, the wheels, I'm actually really big, I'm pretty big fan of the duck, duck bill. You know wrong with the duck bill. But I think the money is on the interior. It's got the it's, clear tails. Ooh, ooh. I like that shifter. It's got the clear tails on it. Nice. Let's give the guy an award. 
Yeah. And here, over here, we have a familiar uh, GT4. Oh, yeah, Rion's car. Some of you might have seen a few of our shops. This is a recent purchase. You actually used to have a really, really fast R3. Yeah. Um, Alright, let's keep oh, yeah. talking. Let's see, we have our own, some of our own in here. We have our number one, Nikki being a boss, us not being a boss. Um, Targa, Cody, perfect. Boxster, best starter now, starter this Porsche. Thing over here is probably one of my favorites of today. Why? It's a very bright paint to sample Porsche that pulled up, and I think it caught everyone's attention pulling up here, and then. Obviously, the stance boy and myself, he aired out, and I was like, wow, okay. Oh. Yeah, probably probably one of my favorite cars here. But sure. no, it's it's, um, it's not a catch up for you can check. I mean, just look at it. I, I don't think the camera's picking up the color on it, but it's like a very like green highlighter kind of. In the nicest way possible, it looks like yeah. a tennis ball, but it's, it looks it really good. It looks really good. Yeah, like, it looks really good. And, and uh, however he got his rotiforms uh, done up too, there's actually oh, the brush. Like, yeah, it says like Rotiform Motorsport in it too. It's like very nice detail. Oh. Well, yeah, well they do that detail for their new uh, motorsport line. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, so and then of course the half cage in the back with the paint match. That's. Are you allowed to have a Porsche without buying a like, half cage? Um, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Seems like I don't know. A... comment down below if you think so. <laughs> Seems like it's a necessity at this point. And and now we're joined with without me. Oh, oh yeah. Hey Seth. Oh, hey Seth. You take my spot. Seth. Huh? Okay. Um, so so uh, here. Seth, we have a, we have a question to ask you. If you oh, no. if you had to pick your favorite car that's in this meet right now, which one would you? Pick? And you can't pick our cars. You can't pick that's our cars. Biased. Oh what? You no. have a couple behind you. You got some stuff over here. I said this one probably is mine. For what I see, yeah, this one. 100%. This one for sure. 100%. Okay, I think it's a fan favorite for Dude. sure. It's got it's it's got some. Can I help you? We reviewed your car. You said it was sick. Thanks for having a sick car. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Where's my sticker? There's plates right there. Help yourself. Take two. I'm pretty sure the, no, the turbo the turbo, turbo doesn't have one on it. Actually, either. or you can get a Eurofed jet tag for sale. available online for purchase. <laughs> or you can get a... You did it upside down both times you turned it. <laughs> All right. Or you can get a Eurofed jet tag. Oh, shit. There we go. Available online. So or you can get... Your fit glasses. Your fit sunglasses. Sunglasses. They protect Which, you from UV. That's a terrible example because you drop those all the time. That, no, it's called it's called a. Uh, it's, uh, it's for stress testing. Though. Stress yeah, testing. Yeah. We really, just like we our really customers, just like for our customers, we're willing to go lengths to make sure our product is good for you. All right. Yes. Let's let's keep let's keep walking. I lied Set, by the Set, way. Set, I lied by the way. Seth, you can join us for the vlog. This wouldn't be my favorite. Why? And I have another one. Why? And it's not technically our car. That's okay. okay. It's Rion's. GT4? Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay, you're kind yes, of cheating. That's, that's fine. Yes, that's fine. We'll, uh, no, I'm not. We'll take it from there. I'm cheating on that thing for this. But actually, it's something I want to show you guys. You can take a Cayenne and lift it. <laughs> and they're literally just as durable as to go off-road as you would find on a 4 Like, these things are... Shoo! It's got some meat. And we have this lovely 996 over here. This was towed in. <laughs> That's dope. So for those who don't know, this is actually the first GT model we ever got. So this is kind of when I started started the whole craze for NA, big NA motors, motorsport feel, a Porsche. It kind of you know, brought in some more faith into the water cooled engines. So over here we had Drake doing what Drake does, filming music videos. Yo, yo, Drake, yo, yo, yo. bust the bust the line for us real quick. Hey yo. That's all I got. Oh, One really cool thing about Alpine Volkswagen is even though we're right here at the Porsche meet, you can throw a rock and hit the Mark III meet all over there. There's the Mark II meet was is, was down this way. The air-cooled meet was down there. Um, oh. I want to say I want to say the oh. MQB meet. Oh, and there. now we have yeah. a familiar face, Mr. Oh. Nish himself with his... God, I think that thing looks Nagara good. Nagara Blue RS6, one of 25 tribute edition. And I'm so I'm so happy. Just oh. a very good a very good guy and a very nice car. God, does he have taste? Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's not even the cool one of the coolest cars he owns. All right, guys. So during the Porsche meet, we were joined by as you can say our friend Nish. But I don't know as much about this car as this guy. He's literally. He's a certified Audi Audi guy. Like I don't think I've met a bigger Audi guy than you. So right, kind of like, I, I wonder if you mind giving me a quick rundown of what what we have here. So, Audi brought 25 of these 
uh, to celebrate uh, 25 years of the RS2. Uh, the respect individually by uh, my Audi with not Nogaro Blue interior and a Nogaro Blue bespoke uh, interior with the blue stitching. Oh yeah, that's... Yeah. That's nice. So that's we took that and we started by modding it. So mm -hmm. it's got an Akrapovich Evolution Line exhaust. It's got an Cantronic from MTM. It's got a one-off bespoke. Um, yeah, so this will, you kind of had a little partnership with MTM yep. when, you, when, when you're building this. So. Yeah, so it was a collaboration with Audi of America, with MTM, with Expel, to kind of build a one-off car. So we kind of replaced the mirrors, we replaced the trim. There's a Maxon body kit, so that was they were part of the collaboration. Nice. We did a bespoke um, headliner to match the blue. Really? Uh, Audi didn't deliver the car with an Alcantara headliner. So there you go with the matching blue stitching. And oh, nice. oh that's yeah. So that's I love, really I love the details like that. That's awesome. Yep, and it's got a one-off, one-off one, -off, one, -off one uh, uh, rear diffuser that Maxon made custom for me. So that's not available in any other car. So yeah, nice. this thing is modified, but it's not that heavily modified with the engine. Like so, well, how, what parts are on it? So it's intake, Akrapovich intake exhaust, exhaust uh, by Akrapovich and the M Cantronica Stage One. So yeah. and just and only make 750. It's only make 750 with 700. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> Which in today's day is insane that you can get these kind of numbers with a 4,900 power car, yeah, right. 4,900 pound car. Yeah. Yep. So, what's it like to drive? Because a lot, of, a lot of us aren't fortunate enough to be able to drive only. So, what's it like? Kind of like, because I'll say like so, this thing is intimidating on the road. It is. It is. It has so, angry yeah. face. It's yeah. So till yesterday, this was my second favorite car. My B7 RS4 mm, was yeah. my first favorite, and then I took it to a couple of passes and the runs and. The four-wheel steering, the intake, the exhaust, just the, the really? power delivery is just amazing. So it's just so easy. The only thing missing is, which I didn't have time to put in, is the sway bars mm -hmm. that ABT I'm collaborating with. Uh, couldn't I put them in? So otherwise, I think the car would be. But this thing keeps up with stage two RS3s, with like nice. stage one GTIs, Golf Rs, and it takes up the whole road. But yeah. well, I'm glad. I'm glad. You know. You and I stayed in contact over the year, almost over. Oh, um, not necessarily so a year, but seven months. Yes. Seven months, yeah. but you know, we stayed in contact, yeah. and he told me he was coming into Atlanta, so I thought it was a good opportunity to introduce him to the Eurofit yeah. family, and uh, you know, get a chance to feature this literally amazing car. Yeah, yeah, it's but. So funny story here is oh, Ankit has saw this car before I did. Yeah. Because we live in Tampa. I was probably he, the first person to actually see this car get unloaded off a trailer. So he took delivery of my car before I did. Yeah, and I texted this man. I was like, hey, it's gonna it's gonna be safe. I literally drove it in PDI <laughs> mode, like 25 <laughs> miles per hour on the main on the main road. Like, all right, no one, like, you know, no one's gonna hit me. Yeah. Yep. And you guys like uh, hit it in the corner. You had to make yeah, sure no one saw it. Yeah, we hit it in the corner for him. Yeah, uh, yep. you know, made sure everything was good, and you know, came down here and made it an experience for him, and you know. Months later, you know, you can clearly tell he's a very happy man with his <laughs> purchase. Yeah, so. Appreciate it, man. Of course, of Thanks. course. Good. So now we actually have, we have some nice. We, we have another red one. Some more air cooled love, and this thing, oof, for. This, this is how you want to do a 964, huh? It's a, this is a red car. <laughs> it's got wheels. That's a white car over there. Yeah, that's a white one. And then there's a blue one. Oh my God. I'm shocked by our automotive knowledge. <laughs> but then there's a big baller car. Oh, yeah. uh, well, the little Yo, I'm, I'm yeah. almost I'm almost certain this car has a motor and a transmission inside of it. It might even have axles. You guys, you heard it here it first. It might have axles. It but might. seriously, like this, I, I like. I, it's not SEMA, there's no Bluetooth drive trains here. No. Yeah. No, cars actually work work at this show. That's nice. Okay. That, that's how you want to do a 964. With the, the wheel tail, the roof tail. That's that's nice. Okay, so another another porch with some rotiforms here. Very nicely done. GT, um, GT3. CC, it has a big, it has a big CCVs. So it's got some rotiform CCVs. Very, it's specked out very nicely on the inside too. As well. it's, a, it's a design you won't expect to look good on 911, but actually it looks really good on these. So. So look at the big shift thing. Oh yeah. That's um, where you go. Whoop, 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 whoop. You, you know? Can, can you do that? No, do it again. Do it again. I didn't. Dun, dun, dun. Well, you're trying to say it's a really nice shifter. And it's But it's dope. more like, like what? you know? Yeah. It goes. 
I hate right. you guys. Come on. So this is actually a 964 backdate. So what I, what it means by backdate is they'll take a 964, which you see right over there, which is the 80s, 90s cars, and they'll actually put a slightly older style front end on it. So it looks like an older RSR, or in this case, it's kind of a mix between an RSR and a Carrera RS, because it's a bit stuck yeah. But other than that, it's, it is gorgeous, especially with these deep fuchs, like that, like you don't, you really don't get a sense of how wide these fenders are. That's just, yeah. That's, that's, oh yeah, so, so Kit, Kit also, he just, he keeps like talking about this bumper. I, I don't know, man. It's just something about the front end. Like it, it's, it's, it's not bad. It's very, it's very nice. Like if you, yeah, look, if you look at if you look yeah. at the front profile shot with like where where the lower grill is, the bumper, like the holes in the bumper, and then like the deep dish in the rear, it's just it's a, it's a poster car. It's a poster car for sure. Yeah, I like it too. Yeah. <laughs> it's dope. Wait, it's, can I can I pick two cars out of the show as my favorite? Absolutely, yeah. Can you... I pick the tennis ball and then this guy? I don't I don't know. No, I'll just on this pick. But uh yeah, so last that we have this stunning gangster uh speedster build that has a pretty wild wide body on it what do you think kid? what are you thinking makes me want to sell some drugs in it um oh green uh, oh. Oh. oh bts oh. is that okay Oh, green hey, treats. I know my oh, colors. Oh, green treats you for. Oh, that's me mm. calling that. me calling that down there a wrap. Uh, that was a mistake. It's okay. We're all, you know, Michael Jordan missed shot in his life. I don't, I don't life. know that paint code. I literally, I would, I would call it like Wilson Ball, like yellow. Wimbledon acid. yellow. Wimbledon. Keep fucking with the guy down there with the <laughs> acid green part. So, Seth, what do you want to say to people? So, thank you all for coming to the Porsche meet. Um, that's it. That's a nice little taste of what we had here. So, what? thank you all, to everyone who came to our Porsche meet. We and even here. Now you're here hanging out with us. So thank you. Yeah. And make sure to like and subscribe. Blow us up. Uh, I'm going to get back to drooling over some Porsches. I think Seth's going to too. And well, yeah. We'll see you. We'll see you on the next part of, the, of our trip. Boop.